We hear people talk about the state line mob in the Dixie Mafia and you wonder what's the difference. Well, a lot of it is the location. The state line mob was a group of local hoods, moonshiners and thugs and that sort of thing, that stayed at the state line right there around um, Highway 45 at the at the line between Tennessee and Mississippi. Now, the Dixie Mafia was a grassroots organization that spread across 13 states in the south. So it's uh, location and size and, and uh, basically uh, one is more interconnected than the other. And so which one is more powerful, I would say, the more widespread one would have been um, just because the state line's access ended locally. Lying so bad. Well, we had several reasons really. It had always been kind of a hotbed uh, for local thugs and moonshiners. Um, it was just out of the way enough to where it's not actually in a town. So it, you know, it was a little bit off the beaten path. But uh, also, you had you had the leftover criminal element that was pushed out of Phoenix City, and a lot of them came back home to the state line between. Tennessee and Mississippi. Now, along Highway 45, there was a lot of um, a lot of people that actually came from that crowd. And then, uh, to take it a step further, it was kind of a known area uh, of, of lawlessness for quite a while. Even before that, if you uh, study the Italian mafia, you'll find a lot of times they would go south to the country to that area, um, you know, to to run some business, to hide from law enforcement, and and uh, so you you'll find that you've got some Italians mixed in uh, every once in a while. You've got the moonshiners uh, and the bootleggers. You've got um, the criminal element from Phoenix City, and then you have to realize all of that mixed together with extreme poverty of the South at the time, and uh, the fact that it was a dry county, moonshine was illegal, and so. All of that mixed together, and uh, it, it was just a hotbed for illegal activity at that time because of all of those elements.